Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Detroit Become Human. Now let's do this. November 9th, 2038. Talk to Amanda. Oh, we're back in... Amanda's world, or in Connor's head, or... Wherever this thing is. What's this? I've not seen this before. This looks new. It's like a hand scanner or something. Or a handprint scanner. Triangle? What the hell is that? Oh. His wee LED light went red. Oh. Amanda's over there. Oh, what's that? Can't get to it. Oh. Shit, is that ice? Maybe we should take care when we're walking across it. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. That was my fault. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Ooh, she's not happy. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. Mm. You're off the case. Oh. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Fuck this shit. Oh, path unlocked. Well, it doesn't need any more to see, I don't think. Right, talk to Hank. Anything else that can be done? Uh, it's just his desk there. Right, let's go and talk to Hanky boy. Sit down. <laughs> Sitting on the desk. <laughs> That's new. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. 
So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Oh, he's changed what his tune. What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Come on, Hank. You know you want to help me out. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor. But I'm not going to help you. Mm, another path unlocked. Oh shit, timer. I hate fucking timers in these games. Right, make diversion to slow Perkins down. Right, so Perkins, that's the the FBI guy, so Can we lock him in that door? Um let's have we look. L1 Oh. Oh. Ah, are we gonna go and let him out? Set this bird free. Fly, little bird. Hacking. L1. R1. You're free. Run. Run, Forrest, run. Oh, Jesus. Right in the nose. Right, take key from Hank's desk. Right, quick, let's go, let's go. Archive room. On the double. Run, Connor, fuck's sake. This is no time just to dilly dally and walk. door in here so hey Connor ah shit I'm talking to you asshole oh it's that dickhead wouldn't any plastic pricks around here or did anybody tell you I'm registering the evidence in my possession but don't worry I'm going to leave though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance <laughs> our bromance <laughs> just you try it <laughs> Go on then. Get a fucking move on. Fuck. Fucking androids. <laughs> I really want to kill the asshole. Alright, let's go down into the evidence room. Or the evidence locker. Right, so access the database. So this is us locating Jericho with the evidence then. Right. Evidence room, place hand on surface. Okay, use the panel. Hank's password. Oh. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? 
Uh, day birth. Absurd. He'd never choose that. I need to think like Hank. Oh. Well, fucking password. Try that one. <laughs> Obvious. Typical. Typical Hank. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Yeah, Gotta think fast. Examine. Statuette. Let's have a look. Nah, it's not gonna get me in. Oh, tablet. I don't know if we're gonna find anything on there though, but. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Alright, put that back. Try this. Play. The truth is inside. The truth is inside. Oh. What was it trying to tell me? The statue. That's we found that where he was. Shake. Ah, uh, break. Pick it up. Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Ah, uh, Ferndale. Now I can scan their memories. And That's the train station that we were at when we were looking for Jericho. Right, four minutes, four minutes left. The android that murdered its owner. Analyzing bio components. Impossible reactivation. Right, so we can't get him back to life. What are those numbers? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Needed for reactivation, right. Oh, that's a bio, that's a component that's needed, right? Okay, I see what you mean. Right. No. Hit the wrong button. No, I can't come out of this now. Put it back. Right, so let's check all these other ones, see if they contain the one that Did we're needing. Were they headed to Jericho? Did they know how to get there? Impossible reactivation. Okay, so she's fully dead. She doesn't contain that number. No. No, she doesn't contain that number. So I need 3983V, I think. Needed for reactivation, so we need a 6755W. I don't think she'll give us much though. The deviant took a child hostage. Come on, Daniel. Give us the bio component that we need. Oh, 3983V, is that the right one? I'll go back and check. 3983V, yep. Go and take that. Don't. Put that in. Right. Come on, speak to me. Trick him. I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. 
I'll never tell you where Jericho oh, shit. is. Shit. Now leave me alone. Scan memory. R2 L1 Square. Come on, give me the information. Seeking for Ferndale reference. Ooh, located. Right. I've been dreaming about this since the first oh, second I fuck. saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Oh, shit. R1. Don't. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. Square one. That's it, Connor. Go and get him. Oh, that was a bit easier than I expected. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm. Now. Hey, come on, Connor, run. Oh, that is that. Last chance, Connor. Oh, Bloodhound. Trophy earned. Right, so there's. Looks like another. Hey, another two endings there. Another one there, and there's all these, all these bits I'm missing there, and some other ones here. Fifty percent. Uh, looks like I got this one to go back to for an extra couple of endings, especially at fifty percent. Well, thanks for watching another video of Detroit Become Human. If you liked it, whoosh, high five the like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to rub the sub button. And last but not least, remember life's a game, so play it well. See you in the next video.